Whoa, careful now. You look like you might be enjoying yourself. <laughs> it's an act. But seriously, thanks, man. This is exactly what I needed. <sighs> Almost. It's just missing one tiny thing. Ben Chip, you read my mind. You know Allison refuses to eat anything cold in the winter? Sir Loss, from now on you've got someone to call if you want to fish or slam a pint of Ben and Jerry's in the snow. A pint? Ah, uh, small fry. We should try to do this again while I'm still in town. For sure. You have my number now. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Sorry. Don't be. I'll see you two later. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. Why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? You wanna take another look at the picture? It might help. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The 
secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Can you see anything? Nope, not a... Here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So we saved Marianne from something, but not in this version? Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be the gold lady's castle. And it looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home. And she grew up kind of rich?
The princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think the Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. She ran away. Just like the princess is here. Maybe not, but the title is different. Uh, it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other- That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. Did you know she studied engineering? No, but it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. this guy been any more cryptic? Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I, I don't know. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So... Maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Del- The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Huh. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time?
Her father. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried, who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine, let's keep digging. Salmonberry Park, huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that, with, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? Wow, she worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. That's the gold lady. Hmm. Seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are depth some sort of clock. This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the book of goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be.
And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. And then, he was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? All right, should be easy enough. Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. I was her son. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. The crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember.
You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And 